So it's not the end of the bull market. No, not at all. It might, it might put. Um, let me have a look. It's too early to say, but like a lot of the the model, well, the model I use for the market top is based on the price trajectory, and it's it slowed the the rise to the top. Yeah, it's too early to tell. Let's see. We have to. It's predicated on what happens in the in the um, next quarters of the bull market, but. Um, it's going above 100,000, 200's looking confident. Um, it, would need, it would need to go up very quickly for us to um, reach above 300. Um, so, it's, so, it's, so are you, because last time we spoke, I think you said we were looking perhaps at 300 at the top. Are yeah, we're on. Recalibrated down from the Three to 400. Um, right now I'm looking at just ballparking that. All packing there, all right. Two, yep. two to four hundred. It, it's too. It's, you know, this. I need to see how this this um, price gets absorbed. Um, like, how, I want to see what what happens in the weeks to come. Has this affected you in terms of your trading significantly? Then, like, because energy wise, I, I, I can tell your energy is different from normal, Willie. So you're saying that, but are you saying it with caution? Um, no, I'm. Uh... Um, no, I'm just, I'm just in doubt of it. <laughs> I had a retreat um, two weeks ago, a nine-day retreat. So um, I'm less on, um, you know, like bull market adrenaline right now because I've been um, on retreat and doing a lot more meditation. <laughs> um, but <laughs> that's all. That's personal. It's nothing to do with the market. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm not trading right now. I've got a baby due, you know, in a few weeks. Um, I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of trying to shed the um, the adrenaline um, of the market so that I can be a bit more present for family life to come. So, <laughs> that's so you're all. just all zen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in terms of like read in the market right now, do, do, you, do you think this is just going to put us in a kind of longer ranging accumulation phase as people try and figure out what's happening? Yeah, I think we're going to have some sort of um, shape on the price chart like COVID put. Um, we'll recover. We've got to go sideways. The coins that we dumped out need to be reaccumulated um, by longer term holders. And then... Um, yeah, it'll take a bit of time. Like, um, don't think it's going to happen next week. It might take a month or two, um, which uh, might be, you know, what, like, isn't it? Now we've got a lot more traditional guys in the markets. You know, summers in the Northern Hemisphere tends to be a bit soft amongst traditional traders, summer holidays. So uh, maybe that'll take a bit of time till that's finished. But um, it's really too early for me to get a picture of how quickly this thing's recovering. Um, the um, it is recovering. Like we saw immense peaks in, in flows out of the exchanges as we were going below the um, into the forty thousand range, and um, a lot of coins are coming off. Um, so very bullish on the exchange flows again and um you know we had a reversal in what i call the rick astley indicator um we we had like as as elon um tweeted we saw strong movements of coins from strong hands to weak hands meaning um those previously strong hands became weak hands um so again like those guys that bought um probably below forty thousand in in the bucket loads um, held their coins until the, until now. Um, that's my guess. But the, we had a very much um, this movement going from strong hands to weak hands, and um, that's just peaked, um, and it's starting to swing back. The momentum's starting to swing back to s coins moving back to strong hands. Um, the last time I saw a peak of this magnitude. Um, was the bottom of the COVID crash, you know, it forms a peak. It was a very exaggerated movement of strong hands getting freaked out and selling. 
and that's that's subsiding now. And the last time that happened at that scale was the bottom of the COVID crash. So um, I think, uh, yeah, I think this. I'm pretty sure with all these these um, on-chain metrics that um, the coins are moving back into strong hodl, um, like smarter retail <laughs> than, than, in, <laughs> than high net worth um, new to crypto <laughs> whales. Um, so well, yeah. I like that <laughs> idea. You know, I like that idea of uh, these new whales capitulating themselves, panicking because that. Uh, I guess a lot of them are coming in because they've seen the news, seen the hype, they've bought in, they've panicked, and they've redistributed those to new retail strong hands. I think that itself is bullish. That wouldn't have crossed my mind. So that's a really, really good thing to hear. And I guess these people, you know, that redistribution of coins hopefully would lead to less volatility long term. But, you know, with this derivative stuff, it's, it's not happening. Yeah. But it still feels like a good scenario. You can understand, right? You kind of like, okay, yeah, I'm managing maybe my 10 mil, 20 mil, and like BlackRock um, CEO, whatever, C Chief Investment Officers. Yes, we believe uh, Bitcoin is a valid investment. You know, one after the other, very respected fund managers say, yes, Bitcoin is in. Oh, I don't have a Bitcoins. Let's buy a million dollar shot of it and get an allocation for my portfolio <laughs> not knowing exactly what you're buying necessarily maybe asking a few friends and then there's bloomberg spouting off um you know a whole lot of things including the energy use the car it'll never it's too volatile it's um you know what's the other one like it's the the holdings are too concentrated constant fud by certain media outlets and then um suddenly elon musk tweets yeah, the fossil fuel's an issue. Um, we're not going to accept it until it's improved. And he's validating this bullshit FUD, um, which has been debunked for years within Bitcoin if you've done the research. But you kind of understand that, like, well, I've just had like a two to four or five X on this, this ride. Um, and suddenly the so-called smartest person in the world with with um, well, the richest, one of the richest and smartest mm. um, engineering minds in the world, is validating some of this fud. Um, I guess you, could, I could see that, you know, um, I could see that happening. Um, and it but, wouldn't be a bull yeah. market without uh, it, it, without hearing about China banning Bitcoin again. Oh yeah, that was very um, timely, wasn't it? Um, I kind of wonder if that was pushed out by the Chinese orchestrating a a long um, what is it, short squeeze, long squeeze. Um, yeah, long squeeze um, to dump the price. 